The Lakers were the dominant team in that first half, without question. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. Have a look at the leading scores for the Los Angeles Lakers. The Warriors have yet to appear after one half of basketball. The way they struggle doesn't bode well for them at all. But if they got some fight in them, we'll know right away in the third quarter. These are the guys getting buckets for the Golden State Warriors. Game track. Locks. The Los Angeles Lakers have been making the kind of defensive impact that can affect the team mentally. After a lot of those blocks, you'll start to see guys more hesitant and second-guessing shot opportunities. Player of the half. Anthony Davis showed off his timing and athleticism with a lot of blocks. The defense he put on display requires the kind of effort that fans love to see from their team. Cole. Steph Curry was unable to find his shot through the first two quarters. News flash, you're not on fire. Pass the ball. We got our top three plays for you. Check them out. Number two. Number one. Thanks for joining us for the halftime report. The second half is about to get started. Kyrie oh, yeah. with the rock. <laughs> Curling inside. Irving. On a bad pass. Going to be taken away by the Warriors. Oh, good defense by the Lakers. They come away with the steal. Nothing going here on that drive to Stanley Johnson. Irving. And the rebound taken down by Green. Lakers come up with it. Irving drains it. And in today's game, you have to make shots like that. Nice work draining it from deep. Thompson to bring it into the front court. Down a bundle. Yes, Clay Thompson. Not a busy night, but effective. Two for two. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. James, defended by Draymond Green. Johnson. A bad pass there. Warriors have it. Tough make through traffic. You know, teams usually shoot higher percentages early in the shot clock. Plus, you take away the legs of the defense. You have to dictate the pace. To James. To Durant. Drive from the baseline, but it won't go down. Curry into the front court. The deficit now up to 13. To Thompson. Down to Looney. Kevin Durant. Huge block. And his foot was on the line. It's going the other way. LeBron into the front court. His team on top by 13 to Durant. For three, that's a dangerous spot. Kevin Durant wide open. He nails it. He's a modern-day big that plays like a 6-2 guard. Scary.
It's Golden State basketball. Spins and scores. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. Curry. That's off the side of the rim, short. Durant across the timeline. His guys leading by 14. Here comes the screen. Durant defended by Looney. Fires the three. That's how you defend. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. And throws it down. You used to hear all these coaches talk about, we need players to run the floor. No, I don't need you to run the floor. I need you to run the floor with purpose. Those are two different things. When you run the floor in attack mode, that's when plays like this occur. Trying to cash in to Stanley Johnson. Stanley Johnson, strong finish. Man, they are just continuing to pour it on. But the one thing we know about in this league, you have to make sure that you continue to play with energy because leads can evaporate quickly. To Wiggins. Shot won't go. Another follow stays out. down the first. And fails to hit them both. Hits the first, misses the second. To James. To Green. It's a big finish. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters, but when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. Oh, emphatic slam. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's Prob City. And they call it. Ah, uh, his timing was a tad bit off. No, no, that wasn't a foul, no. First free throw is good. Two for two on that trip. see anybody on the defensive end standing up out of position I see everybody squatted down really active with their hands that's the mentality that will lead you to where you want to go with the basketball to begin the fourth quarter. And not a whole lot you could do in this situation other than give it your best shot. And players don't like to hear this, Ed, but the reality of the matter is this is a character-building opportunity. Yes, you may lose this game, but that does not mean that you do not fight each and every possession. Across the timeline comes James. The lead is 15. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Won't go down. Curry to bring it up. He'll run the offense. Thompson. To Irving. Going to launch beyond the arc. 
You know Kyrie, zero hesitation, buries it for three. Jay, you've known Kyrie Irving since he was a young man growing up in New Jersey. He's overcome a lot of obstacles, chief among them, staying healthy and on the floor. Yeah, Ed, he's been battling injuries since his freshman year of college, but the beautiful thing about Kyrie Irving is that he always loves the big stage. Making the game-winning shot in Game 7, he will continue to do so when he surrounds himself with great, inspiring leaders with the likes of such Kobe Bryant. They don't want to lose this possession. Let's see what they can do with the jump. Stuffs it down with authority. Ooh, shows like this separate the good players from the great ones. The good players, they have good first halves, and then they fade the black in the second. The great players, they just sustain that kind of dynamic energy throughout the entire ball game. Curry. And that's rebounded by the Lakers. Durant. Green always looking for the steal. Fires the three. He engulfed him that time. To Green. Gets it to go. Could have been more. A lot of contact, but no foul. It's not a travel if it looks pretty. Los Angeles, they have it. James, tough matchup with Draymond Green. Nothing going here on that drive. LeBron James, here against Kevon Looney. To Durant. James. Here's a chance from long range. Buries it on the catch and shoot. Yeah, and what we're seeing is a brilliant offensive display. You have ball movement, player movement, and great shooting to top it off. You get those three things going, you're going to be a dynamic offensive unit. Here's Curry with it up top. His guys down big. To Wiggins. Referee blows the whistle. Jump ball coming. Now oh, it's been scrappy. Let's see who can take the jump. Thompson knocks it down. Defender has to get there next time. But it was how he created the shot. As a defender, there's a tendency to stand up when you stare at the ball. Offensive player recognized that, continuously moved without the ball. Bang, that's how he set it up. Durant. And he buries it. And, Ed, when you have seven-footers roaming the perimeter who shoot over 40% from the three-point line, why take twos? All five can shoot it at any given time. Curry has it. Surveys the floor. Curry to Thompson. Four three. Message received. Well defended. And big time coaching strategy by the staff right there. Utilizing their bench, keeping fresh legs on that shooter consistently throughout the course of the game. He's not shy about shooting it from out there, but he misses this time. Draymond Green. He's now four for six. This may sound cheesy, but sometimes you just need to sit back, get a tub of popcorn, and just enjoy the show because that's what you're watching right now. And drills it. Jay, spacing can be a beautiful thing. Everything looks great when you shoot the ball like this. And yes, Ed, this team does have some issues, but they are all masked and camouflaged with this shooting display we're watching. Curry with the basketball. Looking to make something happen. Has a look. And he buries it. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here because that was not an easy look. James into the front court. His guys holding the big lead. And they call the foul. Jay, he was there too late. I don't mind that effort at all. At least they're still out here competing on the defensive end. LeBron James, couple of free throws on the way. Shooting 50%, some yes, some no, in this contest. Knocks down the second after missing the first. Great feed. 
speed. Sets it up. Throws it down. Jay, I'm surprised. He had a chance to wrap him up. Well, you're not the only one surprised. This guy is not a good free throw shooter. You never let him have an easy bucket. If anything, make him earn it at the charity strike. Durant against the former Cougar. It's James. get to victory. They are champions of the Western Conference. They're on their way to the NBA Finals. For my partner Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been the NBA Playoffs on EA Sports. Find out more at easports.com. Until next time, good night. And it's time for the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Lakers will represent the West in the NBA Finals after today's landmark victory. After a season of adversity, it all comes down to one last playoff series. And I just know it's going to be incredible. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Los Angeles Lakers. The Warriors. We're hoping for a different postseason future, but now it's about what ifs of the past. The reality of the all season is now upon them. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Golden State Warriors. Game track. Assist. The Los Angeles Lakers were very impressive in the way they shared the ball, giving each other the opportunity to not just take good shots, but great shots. That's what I believe made the difference for them in this game, that being the great assists. Player of the game. Kevin Durant put together an incredible game. Highlighted by his amazing defense. Not many guys come up with this many blocks and steals. Who was gold? Every player that makes it to the NBA is a great athlete. But even the best players have their off nights. Today was just one of those days for this guy. These are the top plays of the game. Number two. Number one. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. And it's been our pleasure to present you with some NBA basketball.